The course that Pro Series is at Daytona for the running of the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar 400. On the pole, Isaac Nordic to his outside is Derek Hamill. Third, Eli Bright. Fourth, Mohamed Din Abdullah running up the top five is Zachary Lowe. So the qualifying order. The winner of the last restrictor plate race in the Course Life Pro Series sits on the pole here tonight. And we're getting set for 24 laps around Daytona. As the pace car goes in. Green flag and the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar 400. Nordic immediately goes high. That leaves room for Eli Bright, but looks like he's going to clear three wide in the back already. Abdallah makes an aggressive move to block the high lane. Then Crouch moves down low on the 13. Robin Meyer Series race, we saw two car tandems almost. The 26 and 24 race cars. Now we see this already coming into a play as Nordic leads the first lap. And Eli Bright, Isaac Nordic, Zachary Delolo, and the 38. No, that's the 37 of Carter Friesen. Break away from the field. Just a lap into the race. Friesen's going to look down low on Eli Bright. Isaac Nordic's going to lead another lap in the two. But Friesen, you see him trying to make moves. Seeing four wide with the nine, and around they go in the back. Caution out, yep, as well as. And Code Luigi. It's like Rodney Crouch caught out of that four wide situation. So Isaac Nordic will lead them to the caution flag. So it looks like the 36 pulled down low on Adam McDowell. I think he thought the 11 was already there. So he pretty much stuck to his line, but he was already on the 16th quarter panel. Wells goes around into Code Luigi and Diego Yepes. Yep, as up on his side. So he got into the 11, the 16 of Adam McDowell and the 11 of Kevin McHugh. Didn't really get much damage from that, so so it would be fine. But Yep, as in Luigi. Heavy damage for Yepes. 
and Yakko Luigi once again taken out early in the running. Isaac Nordic led them to the line. Take you guys to the restart. There's the one to go. It'll be Isaac Nordic, Eli Bright, Zachary DeLolo, Joe Jefferson, and Carter Freeze in your top five coming to the green flag. Looks like the 20. Or is that the 7? That's the 7 of Casey Black. He'll be starting on the inside. It's Gary Barlow is out. As well as the 19. We'll have to see what happened there. But the pace car goes in. Back green at Daytona. Nordic and Bright to the outside while everyone else went low. Seems like Casey Black is up to pace. So I guess he must have had to come down pit road. Zachary Lalo in the 13. Making his way up front. Well, he has to get by the 7. Carter Friesen to the bottom. This is for second. Well, the 7 and 2 actually work together up front. Casey Black most likely knowing that if he sticks behind, he can most likely make a move and get his lap back. Now, Carter Friesen, now the 37, will make the move. Clears. Now, Steve Larker. The 34. See mainly the top five go single file. There's Gardner going down low as well as the 34. Thirty-four will make the move on Carter Friesen and pass. wide back there. Friesen gets put to the outside. There's Dave Jefferson up front. Last race is winner. As well as Sebastian Kukulon. And yes, this is me trying to get to the driver's list because I left it open at the Orbit Minor Series list. Google on down low with a push from Mitchell Carter. 
And Sebastian Kuklon. Carter's going to pull down low for second. Doesn't get enough of a jump that he fouls back into third. Kukulon down low for the lead. In the 21. The 20 behind, and Orman is in that line as well. But now Carter's going to pull down low and three wire for the lead. Orman in the 87. Although no one really has that big of a push. And a 98 of Colton Yo is up front, as is Rakowski, who won the Orbit Minor Series race, looking to do a sweep at Daytona. That's three wide all around the pack. Rakowski moves up high with Colton Yo. Freezing back on the bottom. 98 and 24 block. Just 10 laps to go at Daytona. Freezing pulls down low for position on Rakowski that puts 24 to the outside. Here's Luke Rainey. Not only is the, he the Daytona 500 winner, but he had a shot to win in the Orbit Minor Series race. Here comes Carter Friesen for the lead. Rainey's going to go to the middle. I'll use room for Eli Bright going for second. Reason going top to bottom multiple times. As he tries to block, but he won't that time, as here comes Eli Bright on the bottom. Bright takes the lead away. Oh, Cold Luigi. A lapped car, and he'll slow down the inside. That leaves Carter Friesen, Luke Rainey to pass. Now he goes to the middle, and this will shake up the race. It's basically just three, these three now. Oh, no. Thirty-one pulls down low for the lead on Carter Friesen. These two can't form some kind of single file whatever, then the other pack's gonna catch. There they are back there. They've already made up ground. Oh, the caution's out. Seems like it happened up here. Oh, 
Oh, so these guys were already behind. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the caution lights. Looks like the 9 and the 56 went around. So the 56 was making an aggressive move on the outside. The 10 and 78 were making contact. The 9 spins around the 56 as well. Marcus Sachi gets caught up, although he gets he gets by with no damage. We'll both be able to continue. In fact, I'm sure they don't even have much damage to their cars. But a spin late in the race shakes everything up. A Luke Rainey out front. And those front guys were not looking forward to see, seeing that caution. There's the one to go. It'll be a restart with three laps to go. Luke Rainey, Carter Friesen, Colton Yo, Joe Jefferson, and Eli Bright will be your top five coming to the line. Pace car goes in. We still have to catch up to what happened to the 47. Green flag out, final restart at Daytona. Reason's gonna make a move. Carter Friesen to first. He moves up high, that leaves room for Joe Jefferson. Eli Bright peeking to the bottom. Mitchell Carter up front. Rakowski's going to try and get down low. Bright goes to the inside, but then he gets put to the middle. As Jefferson clears, two laps to go, Daytona. Joe Jefferson goes up high. Larker trying to get there as well. Here comes the 34, Steve Larker. With help from Mitchell Carter in the 20. 39's not going to block. Thirty-four clears for the lead. Carter now going to pull down low. One more lap to go at Daytona. Rakowski goes down to the bottom. Three wide for the lead. Down the backstretch for the final time. Rakowski to the high side. Will that allow Sebastian Kukulon to catch up? Kukulon trying to get there. Now the 11 has a push. Three wide for the lead. Kevin McHugh in the 11. He goes up high. There'll be three wide at the finish. Kevin McHugh, no! Isaac Nordic got it! 
Isaac Norick in the two gets his second win of the season as they were three wide for the lead and couldn't tell. Let's see how close that margin was. No, it was the was the eleven. Kevin McHugh wins. So there so there was a mistake in the ticker. I, I'm honestly just shocked at how they're Wow. I believe it switched the two. It's not the first time that Dicker has done this, but it was a close dash to the finish. And there were three wide. And where's the rest of the pack? Back here. Interesting. But wow, heartbreak to everyone who got passed on the final lap. As wow, the 11 of Kevin McHugh from the middle gets it. And we see yet another Daytona finish. That is good. I mean, wow. And it's not the first time the ticker's done that in a close finish, but... This will be a memorable one from for seasons to come. Markowski, oh, so close to sweeping. He moved up high. And Kuklan was there, but he moved to the middle. That left room for the 11 of Kevin McHugh. Oh, and also, also went to the middle, so... For the finishing results, coming Q first, second Isaac Nordic, third Sebastian Kuklan, fourth Mitchell Carter, and fifth Jorakowski, sixth Zachary Fitzwater Sr., seventh Capola Bay, eighth Steve Larker, ninth Colton Yeo, and tenth Mohamed Dianabdallah. Here's the finishing results. I will not forget. Oh, I see. So we had a mechanical issue. So what happened to the 19? Another mechanical issue. Victory lane with the 11 of Kevin McHugh, your first repeat winner of the season.
Thank you for watching the course I pro series. We'll see you next time.